How's it going, everybody? I'm technical. And and we're back. So basically what's going on today is in today's video, we're going to go through Streamlabs industry report on how streaming was for all the platforms. I haven't taken a look at it yet. So it's going to be a raw, just take a look at it and figure out what's going on. But in my view, I think there's going to be a lot of information here. I think if you are an aspiring streamer or somebody that needs to be, you know, paying attention to trends, where you should be. And we talked about it, you know, in the last tech talk videos, Twitch for you. Uh, check out, check that video out because it's actually really good. And I think you'll get a lot of information out of it, but we want to put the hard data where my opinions go. So you want to make sure that everything lines up to what I'm saying. So let me scroll down here as we just look at here. So not really, we'll just leave it. So, so Streamlabs and Hatchet, Hatchet's pretty good at running industry reports and everything like that. So there's going to be a lot of things there. There's key takeaways. This is from October 7th. We're on October 15th. Uh, I wanted to do this video earlier. The biggest thing is Facebook passes 1 billion watch hours for the first time in their history. Um, it's a relatively newer platform compared to everything else. So they're creeping in, they're crawling in. They're actually something to be taken care of. I'm going to take care of, you know, you know, you should pay attention to them because they're actually really good. And, and I think the stigma of having your real name out there is not that bad. Um, the fact that you get more personalized conversations, um, other people in chat, it's like, it's like meeting a friend, you know, when you go out to a bar, you go out to something like that, um, or anywhere you meet people, conventions, you generally get their real name. Um, people aren't just giving you their gamer name, something like that. So if you go to like, for example, when I went to Star Wars convention, I met a whole bunch of people and they gave me their name. I might not know their last name, but I know a bunch of their first names. So it's more of a personal connection, one-on-one -on -one connection with people. But yeah, people say they want to use Facebook, but there's a multitude of reasons why. People don't use it, and there's multiple reasons why people still use it. Um, a lot of people in my circle still use Facebook uh, more so than Twitter. So if I want to engage with the people that I know in real life, not real life, you know, you know people that we know personally, um, they predominantly use Facebook. So if I want to engage with that side of people, I have to use Facebook. So when I don't use Facebook, I neglect those personal relationships that I have um in favor of the twitter relationships it's kind of different because you know there's a lot of things going on with that but um that's another subject here there going into this is pretty good so twitch now represents 91 percent of the market that's huge um due to the fact that mixer shut down so all the people that went from mixer flew over to twitch some of them went to facebook and they're still th uh they're thriving um the ones that i know of that went over there are thriving a lot of people didn't give it a sniff. It was a good surge wave of support for those Mixer people, but I feel like the ones that I've been watching on Mixer um, that moved over to Twitch, after the whole hype died down, they've they've come down some. And it's unfortunate, but, you know, that's the way it works. And, you know, we talked more about it in the last video. So YouTube gaming experience has the most growth for hours watched with an increase of 165... 156 million hours from Q2 to Q3. That's pretty, pretty big. That's pretty big. So we'll just scroll down. As you can see, the slice of pie. Uh, we're looking at total total hours watched. Twitch has 63.6% of the market. Facebook is climbing up where they were at like 8%. Now they're at 14%. YouTube is at 22.5%. The YouTube thing is very, very telling. The reason why it's very telling because in all of these, all of these pie charts, Facebook and YouTube, they only report gaming. They don't report any other content creation whatsoever. They're using the two, well, these two. Twitch, on the other hand, incorporates everything. Gaming, food, chatting, sports. Everything is all encompassing. So to me, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio when you look at these pie charts. Because what Twitch reports and what the other sites report, I imagine if YouTube reported more of everything that's live streamed on there that actually gets views, they'll actually have the market share, but they're focusing on gaming. So that's the whole thing. Um, so we usually have one, 1 billion, just over 1 billion, 1 1.6 billion, and then 4 billion on uh, Twitch. So Twitch is just crushing it right now. The hour stream. This is where I tell people this is the problem. When you're a new streamer, yes, you can make it on Twitch. Yes, you can grind on Twitch. Yes, you can do all that stuff on Twitch. Everything you can do on Twitch. Everything's available to you on Twitch. 
91% of the hours that are streamed is on Twitch. 91%. That's a lot. That's a lot of competition. That's a lot of competition. Okay. So you have 7.6 million hours streamed on Facebook and you have 205 million hours streamed. That's a lot of people on Twitch. It's a lot of man hours. And considering like some of the top people don't stream as long, it's just a lot of people grinding, grinding. I think your time could be better used if you're not at a certain point level. I mean, I'm just saying, that's just my opinion. Unique channels. This is where the two don't equate. You have 10 million unique channels on Twitch. 10 million. 90% of the streamers are on Twitch, right? Factor in how many partners there are. I don't have that number, but I'm going to have that in another video. How many, how many partners are, are there? How many affiliates are there? And how many total streamers are there? That's a lot. Um, YouTube's going up to the 1 million mark, and Facebook has 267. We'll get into the, the logistics of what I'm, what I'm going to towards the end, if, if they have the information there. If not, I'll double back up to this part, and we'll, we'll talk more about that. Um, more so I was watching League of Legends, Riot, you know, Tencent. A lot, of, a lot of things here. So, you know, just chatting's up there, so it's, you know, it's whatever. So, we'll, we'll, we'll dive down to the Twitch section here. They hold a significant lead. We already know that Twitch is just king right now, or queen, or whatever you want to call it. It's just top, top charts. Purple is running over red and red and blue for sure. Keep going, keep going. So the unique channels right here. This is where I'm going to focus on like we can. I'm going to link this report in the bottom in the description, but we're just going to go ahead. We the total hour stream. We already discussed how gross of a difference it is versus one versus the other. But now we're definitely going to see more of this. We're seeing more trends. So now the unique channels come up. Keep right clicking. I'm, I'm sorry. The number of unique channels is crazy. It's up 2.8% from Q2. So more people are, are influxing to Twitch more than ever. They, it, it's seeing growth for a lot of streamers on Twitch. There's not, not a lot. Everybody's numbers have gone up. Some numbers, you know, now, now we're starting to dip a little bit. My numbers were up, everything like that. But the concurrent viewership is what is the key. The average concurrent viewership on Twitch has reached 2.8%. One five million, decreasing by eight percent. So, think about it. In Q two, right? In Q two, you had less channels, a little, and then you had two point three four million. So, like, here's how many streamers there are, and then here's how many viewers there are. Like, you have way more streamers than viewers available to you. Think about it. Now you have even more channels and now you have less viewership so the viewership is the problem because when the average across the whole board is if you have so many channels so many hours so many streamers and then you have the big guys at the top carrying all the load for all the viewerships it trickles down there's not that many viewers for everybody so when you're trying to grind and scratch and claw and scratch and claw yes you have to then now grow Twitch for Twitch. Think about it. You have to produce content outside of Twitch, drive them to Twitch so they can watch your stream, so you can get more viewers, so you can get more recognition. But the average number of people on the site at any given time is lower than it was last quarter. That's a problem. That's a problem when you're looking at a year over year, Twitch increased, you know, experienced a 69% increase in concurrent viewership from, you know, so year over year, they're, they're getting more viewerships, but as they get more viewerships, they're getting more streamers and more streamers. So when, when your streamer count is increasing by 2%, yeah, you got a 69% increase, but now you're getting more and more people streaming. So the more and more people that stream, so, but year over year, if you look at this, you have a 141% increase in channels from quarter last year, but you only have a 69% increase of viewers. Think about it. So, like, put that in perspective. 
if you have 141% over last year of streamer channel, and now you only have a 69% increase in viewers from last year, you're still at a massive deficit in terms of streamer to viewer. We need, it needs to be like this. Viewers, streamers. Not, it's like this now, you know what I mean? So we don't want to do that. So we'll look at YouTube. That's what I'm harping on. The reason why I'm harping on this, and it'll, it'll wrap up the video when I get there. So we don't know, care about the hour stream. We don't care about all that stuff. We want to know the nitty gritty. So the unique channels on YouTube is 913,000. It's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty good. They've decreased. So more people have stopped streaming on YouTube. Dude, probably not for success reasons. They're like, Twitch is boom and I gotta be on Twitch and they move over to Twitch since their numbers are going up, you know? So it's, it's, it's a thing. But year over year, they've increased 12%. Their viewership, on the other hand, this is key, this is key. The average viewers has increased by 9%. 9%. So Twitch from quarter two to quarter three, 2.8%. YouTube, same time frame, 9.1%. They lost streamers. Their viewer count goes up. Think about it. You no, not lost views. They lost streamers. So streamers said, not for me. But their viewers are watching more streams on there now compared to last quarter. Think about it. And then year over year, 131 increase. So YouTube's growing by 12% year over year from last year at the same time to now 131%. That is huge. So now you're looking at it. When I, remember when I talked about it just a second ago where you want the pie of streamers to be lower than the actual viewers? Why is that important? That is so important because you get a chance to grow. You get a chance to find people. You have other people looking around the site and they possibly can join, join your channel. On the other purple side, you have less inclination or less people to come see you. And there's no reason for people to stick around because they already have people on there. On these, under, on these platforms that are not promoted, and we already talked about in, at length about how YouTube can just win the game, but they're just doing their thing. Think about it. Just think about it. I, I truly believe that. YouTube and Facebook, if you're starting out or you're basically going, I wanna get my foot in the door. I wanna try to learn, but look at how many viewers there are compared to streamers. There's 913 unique channels, and then there's 759,000 viewers, okay? So yes, as a deficit, there is a deficit still on YouTube, but the fact of the matter is year over year, it's increasing. So they're not getting that many more streamers to viewers. So the viewers are climbing because people are not trying to stream on there, but they're consuming the content in comparison to how many people are streaming. That's a very, that's a very good thing to tell you. We'll talk about it. If you have any questions you want to talk more about in the comments, I'm breezing through this. I just want to get you this information out there. Obviously this will be linked down below. If you have any, you want to talk about this stuff, this is what we're going to do. Now let's go to the, let's go to the blue brand. Let's go to, let's go to Senior Blue Brand. All right, so we'll go down here. The Blue Brand has 268 unique channels, a 27 increase over last year. That's pretty crazy, pretty good. But year over year, they experienced a 294% increase. They only had 68,000 channels in quarter three last year. So if you hopped on the boat on Facebook, now, now we're, starting to, we're starting to churn out stuff. So like people are starting to notice it. People are starting to take chances. People are starting to grow. And it had the mixer thing possibly had something to do with it. But more people are, are actually looking at streaming on Facebook. And now here's the kicker. This, in, this, this is where I just saw this. And I'm just like, yeah. The average concurrent viewership has reached 390, 369,000 viewers, decreasing from 380. The viewership took a dip. But right now, there are more viewers on Facebook than there are channels streaming. Remember when I told you, you wanna have more viewers, less streamers, because then now those viewers are just gonna spread. They're gonna sprinkle down. Yes, some channels are gonna be very, very successful, but 
you're playing a game that somebody else likes, there's more chances for those people to find a stream because they're watching and be like, okay, this guy's got off. I'm going to stick around the site. They're going to stay there. The ecosystem, having an all inclusive ecosystem is something that is better than all the rest. And that's why I think Facebook is well positioned if they play their cards right to do things that can't be replicated. You have the ability to leverage Instagram. You have the ability to leverage WhatsApp. You have the Facebook. You can keep people. People do not like getting off sites. That's why I said if, if Twitter ever got into like the streaming game, streaming thing and wanted to make a push at it, it would be crazy because people rather just stay on Twitter or stay on Facebook and never leave. And what I mean by never leave is they always have their Facebook page open. They're browsing something else and like, oh, I got to post this. I'll post around Facebook. They'll tag their, their favorite content creator. They'll tag whatever. They'll tag their friends. They love to be on the ecosystem and they don't want to move. The fact that people like to siphon. So if you think about it, think about all the people that have all the viewers. You think about all the top creators, how many people they have on their YouTube channel. How many people watch them live? It's, a sm it's, a, it's like anywhere between 2 to 4% of their followers on any base to, to siphon them over. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. But if you have thousands of followers, thousands of people, thousands of views on your videos, and your live stream only has like 400 people, it's not a lot of people getting siphoned over. They don't, they don't have the time to watch you live. But on an ecosystem where they can watch your old VOD content and your live content at the same time, the, the chances of them catching you live or catching, a, catching a, you know, information from you is, is greater. You can make your posts. You can do all stuff like that. That's why I love it. That's why I think it's great. So year over year, there's a 202%. So they're, they're growing more channels faster than they are growing viewers. But at the same time, right now, the viewership is eclipsing the amount of streamers on there. So you have the potential, if you put in the work on Facebook, to actually succeed, become partner, become, you know, whatever you need to get out of it. And I think just at those two issues, then we're, we're done with the thing. I didn't want to read through the whole thing. I mean, there's a lot of things in there. We can go through the mumble jumbo and stuff. I want to focus on the viewership and the unique channels because I think that is the benefit to you. I think that's the, the, the really good benefit to everybody that watches me, uh, wants to have conversations about this because I feel growing your channels is much better in a place where you have the potential to grow without doing extra work. What I mean by extra work is, you know, you have to make a YouTube channel. You have to, you know, you can do consistently. You can get people to watch your Facebook streams and your YouTube streams from one place. You have your VODs, you have stuff like that. Twitch, you got to do a lot. You got to play a lot of games. You got to play a lot of things. You got you to work hard, which you got to work hard on every platform. But, but since Twitch is oversaturated, it's super saturated. And there's no reason why you can't build on another platform and then move over to Twitch. If that's ultimately where you want to be, think of it like a job. Think of it like a learning tree, like you, you want to get experience. So when you have this job that you want to go for and the resume says four years experience and you just want to apply and you're like, I can do this, but I need the experience. So where are you going to go? You're going to go to a job that takes you, get your experience, head on over when, when they have an opening at the job you really want and apply there and go there. And that's the company you want to work for. Think of it like that. Once you put it in the work, if it's like, I want to be on Twitch. I want to be a successful streamer on Twitch. Do, do what LeBron James did. He was in Cleveland, went to Miami for four years, came back. Much better player, much better mindset, and did what he needed to do. That's just a basketball reference. I'm just saying there's a lot of references like that. It's not giving up what you've got. It's just being better and smarter and work smarter. That's all I want you to do. So in closing, you have the information available to you right now. Twitch is at a super deficit. You're competing with a lot more channels. You're competing a lot with quality. Um, can you do it? Sure, you can do it. But I feel YouTube and Facebook offers you the capability that you are untapping. You're not realizing that's there for you. And that's something that's better for you. Um, personally, if you watch my channels personally, I think that's the way. 
you should go. Um, I support every one of you guys. Uh, I'm here. I'm open. Send me a message on Facebook. Send me a message on Twitter. Send me a message live stream, Discord, whatever. If you have any questions about anything, comments below. I always answer the comments. I love you guys, and I thank you for everything. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. It's not really quick, so it's like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. But I ho hope you got something out of it, because I got a lot out of it just from this. And then take time to give it, give it a gander. Give it a little read. And then also Stream Elements does their own. They do it a little differently, but this one is the focus of what I wanted out of the content. So thank you and enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.